So they were assigned to one of three groups, either ChatGPT, a large language model, a search engine, or brain only. Over three sessions, each group wrote SAT-style essays using only their designated method. So they either wrote using ChatGPT, they wrote and were able to access a search engine, or they wrote and were only able to use their very own brains. Oh, my God. But in the there was then a fourth session and the groups flipped. So the group that had written with an LLM now had to use only their brains. OK. And the group that had used only their brains now had to use only an LLM. OK. OK, cool. Now we've got EEG in here. What's going on there? Yeah. So there were EEG brain scans recorded throughout, revealing how cognitive activity shifted under each condition. So the brain-only group consistently showed the highest neural engagement, which means the brain was lighting up the most, okay. while the chat GPT group displayed the lowest, especially in alpha and beta waves, which are the waves that signal attention and memory engagement. Okay. So this, you know, the fourth session is really what kind of catches everyone's attention. So the group that had been writing with the LLM and now in the fourth session had to use their brains struggled significantly when writing without it. So their brains showed underactivation in core cognitive networks, particularly in the frontal and parietal lobes. So I think that they want to conclude that, yes, if you use an LLM too often and then you try to use your brain, it doesn't work as well anymore. So there's a thing about like if you wrote with the LLM and then you know, a little while later they said, you know, tell me three things that you just wrote about, they had no recollection. Right. So that's, you know, a little further down in the study because the opposite happened for the brain to LLM students. So using ChatGPT for the first time mm -hmm. after already doing these tasks with their brains, their brains actually became more active, not less, especially in the memory and visual processing regions. So the reported ownership of the LLM group's essays in the interview was low, and students in that group fell behind in their ability to quote from the essays that they just wrote minutes prior, which is what you were saying. I think this just, like, takes it to the next level where we've hooked up people's brains to actual EEGs and are looking at the waves and saying, like, no, it wasn't just a hunch. It was actually, like, we can prove it now. 